Things you need to know if you want to succeed in crypto. Also, day four, ROI, how much money am I making per day questing my heroes on DeFi Kingdoms? We'll hit that first. Also going to hit on things you need to know if you, need to, if you want to succeed in crypto that takes generally people at least a full four-year cycle to understand and they still, most of us still don't really get it and know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to hit on that. Shouldn't be too long of a video. This is my fourth video on daily ROI, questing heroes. How much money am I making? I haven't been able to sleep. It's crazy. It's what, 6.15 in the morning, no sleep. Anyways, okay, today, day four, actually got three eggs. Zero net runes <laughs> today, leveled a lot of guys. 865 tiers, okay. I gained in, in my daily wallet average of heroes, 390 heroes. It's, it started, it's gone up my daily average over the first four days, 390 heroes. That's going to keep rising a little bit on average. The the net jewel gain today, 120, 121 jewel gained, which is now, we're now at 0.35 jewel per hero per day is what I'm making. Uh, tomorrow might be better, or today. <laughs> Have the kids, because of the runes, that's a, usually can be a nice, income on the day okay so after day one we were at 0.5 joule per day after day two we were 0.36 joule per day after day three we were at 0.38 joule per day and now we're at 0.35 joule per day looks like it's leveling out there the longer the time goes by the more we'll get a better picture of how much money i'm actually making questing my heroes per day milkweed's going down eggs are going down Everything is going down. The contests are going away. The stamina potions actually might be a good time to to start buying those or and or going to Alchemist and making those. <clears throat> so the, we we just kind of see Serendale slowly dying off temporarily. Serendale is never going to go away, but temporarily. And so we need to pray that use case comes to Crystalville fast. We need all this stuff. Fast, because you don't want to be selling anything on Crystalville. Maybe runes, maybe Gaia Tears, uh, and providing liquidity as well with the Druid. Okay, and just to recap again, when I summon, so I didn't hit on this the video yesterday, when I summon, I send the jewel in from another wallet, because I want to keep it accurate, if that makes sense. But as far as buying crystals, buying one for gas fees, runes that are used, everything, this is how much money I'm making after the cost of playing the game and leveling the heroes, which is the biggest value gained. But it's looking like it's starting to kind of average out around 0.35 jewel per hero per day, which would be a lot better if one fees weren't so high and all the items were crashing. Swift Thistle is still still good though to sell on the trader. Okay. I love it. So things you need to know if you want to succeed in crypto. This is important. Crypto is a different animal. <clears throat> and it is absolutely manipulated the markets. The only real way to succeed in crypto is to ride the coattails. So first of all, in dealing crypto and being in the crypto ecosystem, you have to deal with human emotion. Human emotion is already bad enough as it is. People are crazy. <laughs> That's why they have Fibonacci charts and all these trading charts that dictate and predict human behavior, which is you get all excited when things are at all time highs and you buy and then you panic sell when they're at all time lows. We're impatient people. So you have to reverse your psych psychology, first of all. But then to add to that, not only do we have to deal with human emotion being crazy like that, like Bitcoin right now is more bullish. It's better off than it was a year or two ago when it was at 
60 grand, $60,000 for Bitcoin, $70,000 for Bitcoin. So why were you buying then and you're not buying now? Okay. Human behavior, human emotion. We're emotional creatures. We got to work around that. And then to add fuel to the fire, this is the biggest issue really that we have to face is manipulation in the markets. And what do you mean? What do I mean by manipulation? The powers that be at this point, especially the powers that be the banks, governments, big money, hedge funds are in control, firmly in control of the crypto ecosystem, whether or not we want to believe it or not. It's, it's the case and they manipulate the market heavily. The market is heavily, heavily manipulated. Then that, if human emotion isn't enough, the powers that be manipulating the markets isn't enough, then to throw more fuel on the fire, you have traders that don't care about the technology or the actual real world use case that we have potentially for crypto. All they're trying to do is make a quick buck and leverage. So you have traders and leverage. Leverage is a huge issue in the crypto space. If the government really cared about protecting us and they would do away with leverage altogether. The exchanges are actually incentivized to liquidate your leverage positions. because That's how they make the, their most money. Okay, so <clears throat> traders try to anticipate human behavior and human emotion and the news, which the news is owned by the powers that be. And the purpose of the news, all they're trying to get you to do is click on their thing and sell advertisements. That's how they make their money. It, it still amazes me at this point that people even watch the news at all. But human beings, we, watch, we fall right into it every time. How many times? How many more times do we have to watch the news and find it to be completely false? They try to stir your emotions. So fear sells, especially in the crypto space. Fear sells because it's real. It, if you've, I've lost all my money. <laughs> uh, that's another separate issue, hacking. We'll get to that later. Fear sells, greed sells. They try to stir your emotions. And the media is owned by the powers that be. And so they set a narrative. They create a narrative. They, they verse pluck things out of context and stir your emotions. They create a narrative which are cues then for traders also. So <clears throat> these are all things we have to deal with. And so the only way an average Joe will win in this ecosystem. Yeah, you could study the Fibonacci charts and all the different trading charts if you want to be doing it for like 12 hours a day, seven days a week. You can succeed there. Or, you know, maybe just five days a week you could do it and then pull all your positions back into cash for the weekend type thing. And people do that. I don't like that because they don't care about the projects, the technology, and what's actually going on. They will dump right on your head and they don't even care. They're just in it to make a quick buck. So how do you succeed? I don't recommend the trading route either. The statistics are clear that the people who made the most money in crypto are the people that bought and held. They bought the projects that succeeded and did well in the long run and they held, period, straight up. So how do we do that? The only way we can succeed and the only way that even the crypto ecosystem will succeed is that if the banks, the government and the powers that be are the ones profiting the most, as long as they're profiting the most, they're good. If they're not and they're threatened, they will destroy you absolutely unequivocally. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands or buts about it, especially in the crypto space. They can do whatever they want. So as long as they're making the money and you're not hindering that and you're riding their coattails, that's the only chances of succeeding in this market. 
So you have to dollar cost average and buy when it's low, you dollar cost average in, and then as it goes up, you dollar cost average little bits out. Little bits in, little bits out. And you never put in more money than you actually need to live on. So if you're gonna actually need to like pay bills, mortgage, rent, you can't have that with that money, hope and then you're putting money in, hoping that you'll get gains and then pull it out in time to pay your your living. Uh-uh, can't do it. You can't do that. Okay. Because that's what they're trying to do. They're they're literally just trying to steal from you. And that's what they do. They steal from the stupid money. Stupid money in the market buys when it's high and sells when it's low. That smart money buys when it's low and sells when it's high. It's that simple. There's so much more I could say. I don't want to make the video too long. We'll keep them coming. I could talk. There's no shortage of content that I could bring out. If it if it's ecosystem, crypto, how to's, anything. The how to's are coming also, by the way, for DeFi kingdoms for beginners, starting from the MetaMask wallet, exchanges, how to send, how to receive, <laughs> how to create an RPC, all of it, how to actually do the game. A to Z for beginners. It's coming. Crypto Grady out. Like, subscribe, bell button. More coming your way. I was going to hit also this the winners in the space. The things we want to look at for a winner are real world use case. So I keep picking on Cardano. I'm going to, because I was a, such a big believer in Cardano and still am. I still hold it all. I mean, I, I had sold, I had sold when it hit $3 <laughs> and started rebuying after that. Okay. So <clears throat> have it staked wallet, all that. But for years, was a big believer, Charles Hoskinson. He is all this vision and grandiose things. But guess what? In Africa, the, the unbanked are not banked with Cardano because you can't even, it's not working. So until the wallet can actually connect to the DEX and work and do trades and not have to wait five minutes for the transaction, I still hope it's all coming, but it, it has to come. If it doesn't come, it's... So that's another thing with this space is the emotional hype that happens. So you wanna find projects with guys like CZ and Binance is always my best example I could ever use because he's a servant, he looks out for your best interest, he executes, he works hard, he's committed, he's gonna do what's right by the people, always. It's a winner. And so everything he does, it's the best. He's the best exchange and everything about the exchange is the best. It's the lowest fees. It can do the most. His decentralized blockchain, which is Cosmos, by the way, we'll hit Cosmos. <clears throat> it just work. It, it's always been solid and it works great. So, and they're always, he's always seeking to improve, be the best. As far as the tokenomics, it's a deflationary token. He burned out of existence 80% of the, of the coins. Everything he does is awesome. Now it's still risky because what if CZ died in a plane crash? Bitcoin is the only one that's truly decentralized. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's good, like with DeFi Kingdoms, we don't want it to be truly decentralized because... What if someone hacked your wallet and stole all your heroes? Well, the team can freeze those heroes and give you your heroes back. Things like that. They can police the ecosystem. So we rely on the team, even with this game. We rely on the quality of the team. And if there's a better product that comes out, it's capitalism. So like when Defira came out, it was interesting. I was looking into it. And I realized, nope, they're going to lose. They're not winners. They're not going to make it happen. They, they even right from the get go, as far as how they did the Gen Zeros and all that with Trank, I didn't look into it a whole, whole lot, but it, it was just, you could just tell, I could just see it, that the team was going to F it up. So versus DeFi Kingdoms, 
does everything they can possibly to be awesome as best they can. Now, there's still issues and mistakes they make. Like for example, greater crystals are way, 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 way overvalued compared to what they actually do for you. Uh, so when the game first came out, these Gaia tiers were like $40. That, that's a problem. So that not, they haven't been perfect and they need to put maybe more attention on that. But big picture wise, there's not very much out there that we see that actually compares, honestly. So we wanna get someday, we wanna have the day come when crypto becomes a normal, regular part of our lives that we're actually with actual use case in our lives, like the internet. That took a long time. It took time and development and trial and error, scams, all kinds of crap happened. Now, we don't even think, think about it, but the internet is such a part of our lives and cell phones that we have basically a computer in our hand. So it's just a part of our, the flow of our lives. Well, that's gonna happen with crypto, with gaming, and it's gonna, someday with insurance, some, like the blockchain will, creep into the lives of every human being on earth in the same way the internet does now. That's what I believe. And so if you want to succeed, you have to be shrewd. That's where the brown gent is so shrewd. He's, he's smart. You don't want to get screwed over and lose all your money. But if you pick the right project in the winter, like let's just, I, I'm such a believer in DeFi kingdoms. If you just play the game the way it's, intended to be played you need gold to do duels you need gold to craft stones you want to have stones to summon you, you know you're playing the game and there's strategy to the game and you don't even think about it you need jewel and crystal to do these things and gold to level up and you need crystals and you're just playing the game you don't even think about oh and you want to maximize the amount of jewel that you're earning so you create liquidity for the pools and it just becomes like a natural flow of playing the game instead of actually having the mindset of how much money am I making per hero per day. I actually don't even like that approach, but it's good. It's good to know for sure. It, at one point in April, I was making like 10 grand a day in this game. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Those are tips. Those are things you need to know. We'll talk way more about this in the future. Crypto Grady, I like the subscribe bell button. Love you guys.